Good morning, guys. Fellow YouTubers, dog men, dog ladies. Um, first off, I want to give props out to Triple J uh, for bringing attention um, to all these bullshit new tethering laws and can't use plastic barrels as doghouse laws. I mean, there's no difference in that barrel right there than one of those plastic igloo dog houses. Absolutely none. Probably the same amount of room, same material. It's just, it's, it's bullshit. But then you have the tethering laws. Um, thank God my county doesn't have them. But you can't keep a dog on a chain, but you can on a cable. It's still fucking tethered. It's the same fucking thing. You're just tethering them with something different. It makes absolutely no sense. And I don't know if you know, but uh, Randall, about the whole Randall thing with his nine dogs, I believe, taken. Some of the charges were like, uh, didn't have food in the dog's bowl. Like, who the fuck leaves food in the dog's bowl 24-7 so that ants and shit can get in it, and then they eat it? I mean, I feed one time a day. I mean, a wild animal or whatever wouldn't eat, but maybe once every few days whenever he caught something. So, it's just retarded. I mean, obese dogs that can't even run because they're so fat because they keep food in the bowl 24-7 and give them dog snacks and scraps every time they eat a meal. I mean, that's animal cruelty. That is animal cruelty. I mean, we're going to have a bunch of freaking dogs that need those little fucking moped lark things that big people use in Walmart. So, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Since when is a hammer and a screwdriver considered dog fighting paraphernalia? I mean, and a breaking stick. They did find a breaking stick, I think. That is a must. You have to have a breaking stick if you own these type of dogs. Yeah, I, I've heard stories about people spraying them with water hose because two dogs got in a fight or, um, you know, uh, hitting them with a shovel or whatever they had handy and they, they don't turn. No, they're not going to turn loose. I mean, they're, uh, that's why they're hog dogs. They're catch dogs. They're, they catch. It's in them. And, I mean, I'm sure everyone knows just as well as I do that they don't care anything about arresting that man. They ain't trying to put him in jail. They just want to scare him with jail time so that he signs over his dogs and they can euthanize him. Uh, I'm going to recap on some stuff that I've mentioned in other videos that I've done, but um, it's kind of like they're trying to, like if I were a law enforcement officer, and I bust somebody with a dime bag of weed or something. Then I'm going to be like, where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? And then he tells on him. And then I'm going to bust that guy that's got an ounce or something. I'm going to be like, where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Till I get to the source. So I guess that that's how they're looking at this whole dog fighting thing now. Is they're trying to go after the supplier. We'll just say supplier for lack of a better word. So if you're a breeder, if you have dogs, like I only have about eight dogs, eight or nine dogs, yeah, let's see, seven, eight dogs. And I don't know if I would be considered a supplier. I mean, my contracts, my buyer's agreement states every law, every animal cruelty law that's passed, when it was passed, the date, the year, and it says that if you're, you know, involved in any kind of illegal activity, including dog fighting, do not contact this kennel. Um, and then they have to sign that in order to get a puppy from me. Now, what happens beyond that is out of my control. Hey, Echo, baby. And these are the chase spot. I, I literally have not even drank coffee yet. That's... So none of these spots have been um, cleaned or anything yet today. I rake up, you know, turds every day. There's some turd right there. She loves to step in hers. I don't know why you do that, girl. But uh, nothing has been uh, cleaned up yet today.
And the only reason why I'm doing this right now is to ask other other breeders that have multiple dogs to uh, make sure your water's clean. Make sure everything is up to par. You got good housing. You got bedding. Because I'm telling you, they don't care anything about arresting you. They want to get your dogs and kill them. And if you're like me, I love my dogs. Look at how much area this guy has. This is Debo. Look at his circle. Now they're telling me, and I want anyone out there watching this to just use common sense and say, okay, this is a 12 foot chain. That means he has 24 feet in any direction to roam around, to walk around in. He could dig holes, he gets sunshine, chase butterflies, whatever a dog wants to do. Be a dog, get dirty. Do whatever you want to, buddy. And this is his area. This is his confinement, containment. Yep, there's some turds right there. So, anyway, how is that better? I, I suppose it's better for me to lock them in a three by three crate in my living room while I go to work for 10 hours? How is that good for the animal? It's supposed to be all like, you know, welfare for the animal. This right here is the best in the welfare of the animal. I mean, look at how much room he's got. This, these waters have not even been done yet today. I st this is how their water looks every day. Oh shit, it's got a fucking leaf in it. Oh no. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh oh, there's a piece of dirt, another leaf. Hey Coco baby. Hey girl. Hey baby girl. But um, this is a freaking wall just for shade in the summertime. Let's see, buddy. You got bedding? I know you do. No, Debo, don't get me off. Stop, boy. Yeah, got plenty of bedding. Damn, son. But um, I'm just asking everybody, make sure you're on your game. Make sure there's nothing that they can twist and turn and and say it's one thing when it's really nothing. Just to, to kill your dogs. I mean, they're trying to go after the source, the breeders. They feel like if they get rid of all the breeders, then they, they eliminate dog fighting. Um, it's just retarded. It's against, you know... In my opinion, it's against our Constitution. I mean, I have the right to happiness. If breeding dogs makes me happy, then I'm not breaking any laws. Why can't I be fucking happy? I mean, I get so many comments about dogs on a chain, it's ridiculous. About, I should put you on a chain or something like that. Hush up, baby. God dang. Oh, dang, Raven. Where is the baby? You're not loud enough. But these dogs, you know what? These are not chain spots. This is their containment. This is where they go at night. Oh, wait. Let's check this water. And I promise you, these waters have not even been done. This is how they are every day. Every day we get out here and do waters, rake up feces, dispose of it, and then play with the dogs. Yeah, and we only feed one time a day, one time. But I guarantee you that one meal, my son said to me one time, dang, but dad, these dogs eat better than we do. I said, it's because I love them more than I love you. I was kidding, of course, but still. These dogs, I go to the butcher, I get fat, I get trimmings, I get, I mean, Sometimes there's half a steak in there. And I cut it all up, freeze it. If you, just in case anybody didn't know, if you freeze your raw meats for two weeks, it kills any germs or bacteria or whatever. So, I mean, unless it's rotten, of course, then I you know, wouldn't give it to them. But um, 
hopefully nobody's getting any rotten meat but um it's just ridiculous how they're twisting everything around just to come up with some probable cause to get a warrant just to come and confiscate your dogs there's no difference between that plastic barrel that cost me twenty dollars than an eighty or hundred dollar plastic igloo doghouse what's the difference same material same amount of room there's absolutely no difference it just it pisses me off and um so we got to bring awareness to this guys i mean I, I touched on it a little bit and i've touched on it in the past but there's got to be a, a we're not taking any more bullshit. I mean, and it's only for this breed. Like, it's like discrimination all over again. These dogs have a right to breathe. These dogs have a right to, to exist just because you don't like it. I mean... That's borderline racism. I mean, I, I, it's almost like the same fucking thing. Just because you don't like them don't mean that everybody has to, you know, do away. The whole, all the society has to do away with them now because certain groups or whatever don't like them. And even then, I don't know if anyone has been to the Humane Society lately, but I've been to a few in the past. None of them, all of them should have had their dogs taken feces, dirty water, no food in the kennel. I mean, the same rules that they're applying to us should apply to them. So I will say this, if anyone does have their dogs taken and they get taken to the um, Humane Society or whatever, take your phone, walk down there, ask to see your dogs, take a video. Of all the dogs in there, look at their conditions, their surroundings, see if the kennel's clean, see if they got food, see if they got clean water. Take a video of it. If they kick you out and tell you you can't be there, huh, that just means they got something to hide. Because they can't ask everyone else to live by one set of rules, but yet where they take them after they confiscate them, because it's better for the welfare of the animal, then their conditions are worse than where they were at when they got taken. I mean, that's bullshit. Straight up bullshit. And uh, now I respect law enforcement. I respect officials. Um, I do I do what I'm supposed to do. And I always say yes, sir. And I show respect. And yes, ma'am. But um, at some point, don't they even say this is wrong? You know, this man that hadn't done anything. They want to take these dogs away from him. And he takes really, really good care of these dogs. I mean, my dogs get raw vegetables, they get kibble, they get their vitamins, they get trimmings, they get, um, you know, whatever table scraps we might have that we save for these dogs. But, um, you know, I don't know if they would consider that animal right here, Debo, light or what, but he is in perfect shape. That is, he's ready to be, to start conditioning if I were to go to try to hunt with him. He hasn't been conditioned yet. This is just how I keep him. But, again, I'm going to ask anybody, if you've got, if you raise dogs and you have a YouTube channel or whatever, um, I'm going to ask everybody, just make a make a video of this. It, whatever in your area. If they're uh, tethering laws, then point out that a cable ain't a fucking different than a fucking chain. No different. It's retarded. It's fucking stupid. And also, what is better for the dog? For me to take all these dogs in and get a fucking crate, a three by three crate, and start stacking crates in a bedroom and hoarding these dogs away where they only see fucking daylight once a day whenever they get walked. I mean, is that really better for the animal? Because that's what they're doing. People are going to be so scared to have them outside where people can see them. 
because they want their dogs, they love their dogs, but they're gonna start holding them in fucking small crates and kennels in their house. And how's that better for the animal? I mean, it's not. So they think they're helping the animals. <laughs> they're not. And then they, they trick society into saying, oh, well, if you see somebody with a bunch of dogs on a chain, they're probably a dog fighter. Well, society needs to not be such fucking sheep. Learn to think for your fucking self. I mean, if it's your neighbor and you see him out there every day raking turds and doing water, then how are these dogs abused? Neighbor would be like, nah, he's out there every day, twice a day, doing water, and cleaning up, and spraying kennels. So, but make a video, bring awareness. That's what I like. I say, shout out to Triple J. Um, I I, I happen to be uh, on YouTube, and I caught one of his videos, and so he wanted, you know, he was like, comment on what you think. I was like, fuck that, I'm doing a video. I'm going to do a video in my yard. I haven't even got out here yet to clean up today, rake up any turds, and ask other dog men to just stay on point. You, I don't want, I don't want anybody, anybody's dogs to get taken. Um, make sure they have nothing that they can twist around, use against you um, to confiscate your dogs, because these dogs did nothing wrong. They're the, they're the ones that are going to pay the ultimate price. All they want to do is kill the dogs. And that is so not, I guess that's not animal cruelty. <laughs> Guarantee you, if the dogs could talk and they walked up to the dog, and even if it was a dog fighting yard, they walk up to the dog and be like, well, you could stay here and possibly have to fight, or you can come with us and we'll just euthanize you and put you out of your misery. I really doubt the dog would raise his hand and say, pick me. I want to go pick me. But anyway... I had to just do this video. Hey, this is just spur of the moment. I didn't, you know, plan what I was going to say. I'm just kind of shooting off the hip here. But uh, just take care of your dogs. Don't give them any ammunition. They're going to make up shit anyway. So just make sure everything is on point. Water's clean. Spot's clean. Adequate housing. And find out if your city or county or whatever has tethering laws or doghouse laws um and just try to abide by them the best you can because um they'll kill your dog just from being on a chain if you have a tethering law they'll euthanize the dog and all they're gonna say is it was used in dog fighting and couldn't be rehabilitated that's a crock of shit so much love guys by the way happy new year um and I wish everybody the best. Thank you to all my subscribers. And um, God bless. I'll catch you on the next video.